so we try to watch our kids all the time, right? But you can't do that all the time. So sometimes you want to be sure they play safely, uh, even when your eyes are not on them all the time. So Joan Lawrence with the Toy Industry Association has some tips for you to remember to help you do that. Thank you for coming in. Thanks for having me. I like this first tip. It's very summer appropriate on a hot summer day like it is today. The tent tip. That's right. Um, kids need a break from the hot summer sun. Mm -hmm. It's intense. Um, sunscreen's important. Water is important, but also a little break from the sun. An outdoor tent, this can go indoors or outdoors, or even a little break playing board games inside. I love that. What a great idea. You could put it inside. Kids love stuff like that, right? They feel like it's kind of an adventure and you can you can treat it like a, a fun thing. That's good for the beach, too, I would think. It is great for the beach. Okay. Yeah, we use it for our kids. So the tent is a great idea. Now, if you are outside, well, these are uh, rollerblades? These are a type of rollerblade. It straps onto your sneakers. Um, the reason I have this here is to point out one thing. It's Adult supervision is so important, mm -hmm. and it starts at the store. So you want to make sure that you're always picking the right age products for the age of your child. Okay. So always look on the front of a pot product. This one is down here in this corner, um, 6 plus, that's 6 years. Um, it's always important to follow that. Those are not based on how smart a child is, but rather the developmental skills and abilities required for that. Product. And the sort of coordination and things like that, I would imagine, right. yes. Uh, how about this? This, um, this is a pool. This is to remind us how important it is to watch children around any type of water, mm -hmm. even a kiddie pool. Even a little teeny baby pool. We know about the, the built-in pools, the above ground pools and lakes and things like that, but even the kiddie pools. No, don't leave kids unattended around water. Good reminder. Because speaking of water, Yes, hydration is very important, especially during the heat when they're playing all day to to rehydrate. And with it, when it comes to something cute like this, it makes it more fun for them too. Kids yeah. like you know they they drinking water either way, but it's easier to get them to do it when you make it cute Almost and fun. Almost like candy. I know exactly. <laughs> How about these? What is this? These are um, balloons, and balloons are so fun at parties and in the summer the, with water balloon play. That is such a blast for kids. Parents don't realize though that uninflated balloons or broken pieces of a balloon pose a serious cho choking hazard mm -hmm. to children. So always you want to keep the uninflated balloons or the pieces of balloons after balloon play. Scoop them up, get them away from kids. Okay. You've got uh, things here that, you know, when you put your kids on a bike, you always remember to do the helmet. I am so glad you brought this in, though, paired with the scooter because my kids scooter all the time and I don't ever have them wear a helmet. That's I've right. I've never even thought of that. Yes. For scooters, skates, bikes, trikes, whatever mode of transportation you're putting your kid on, um, you always want to remember the protective gear, the helmet, the knee pads, mm -hmm. the shin guards, the things like that. Okay. Good reminder. And then uh, finally here, your toy box. That's right. Um, so many incidents happen when when there are trips and falls, and even to adults who trip over a toy in the middle of the night when they get oh, up. Who hasn't done that, right? So it's so important to remember good storage. Help kids know how to do it. Scoop things up, put them in the toy box to prevent those kinds of trips. Mm -hmm. For your ride-ons, your bikes and your scooters, even find little parking spaces in a garage or next to the house. Or Mm -hmm. like just that. give everything its place. Also, good, you know, th this helps kind of remind kids and teach them to clean up after themselves, yeah, well, which is a never great, a bad thing. Great lesson. And that's <laughs> that, I know, that concept. Uh, thank you so much for coming in here. All good tips and uh, things to remember. Joan Lawrence, appreciate the time. Thanks for having me. We're back with more.